Hey everybody, it's Prime Day again, and so we've got sales all over the place. My favorite battery company, WattCycle, is no exception. They've got a million different batteries and products of all types and voltages, and it's hard to keep up with them. So I've assembled a list of my favorite products, most of which I have featured at one point or another, and several I've got behind here. So let's go through the list of my favorite and recommended batteries. The sales keep kind of changing, so I'm going to list uh, the current price as of Sunday. Um, my discount codes down below react different, differently depending upon what battery it is, so you may get a better deal than what I'm about to tell you. So check out the links below, plug in my different discount codes, and see what you get. All right, here we go. Number one, the 12-volt 50-amp mini battery which I've got right here. So we got 50 amp hours of capacity with a 50 amp BMS is currently $109. This is great for ham radio operators, trolling motor, small trolling motor, stuff like that. If you just need really easy kind of light duty portable power for a like a tailgate or a picnic or something like that to charge phones, run fans, things like that for just a few hours or very low current draw, it's obviously a great size. Look how minuscule this thing is. So if you're just kind of getting your feet wet into batteries, this is a real cheap way to start. Next up is the 12 volt 100 amp hour mini battery with Bluetooth. So now you can actually have an app on your phone that shows you what the current state of charge, charge and discharge cycle, and approximately how much runtime you've got. It's not much bigger than the 50 amp hour. I um, you know, kind of a new gen battery with different cells inside. So it is not very big. Runs 199 currently, less whatever the discount codes down below will give you. Um, I have featured it multiple times in some of my mini builds. It's got a 100 amp BMS, so you can run up to about a 1,000 watt inverter off of it. So you're getting into some real serious power. Check out my uh, five minute uh, build with this. So if you want a very inexpensive power station, you can slap an inverter on this and be good to go in just a few minutes and have over 1,200 watt hours of capacity. Not shabby for $199. Moving right along is the new 12 volt 314 amp hour mini with Bluetooth. This is a ridiculous amount of power in a very small package. We've got a 200 amp BMS in this thing, which means you can run like a 2500 watt inverter. Same Bluetooth app, so that way you can check and see what your capacity is in state of charge. Runs $4.99, putting a discount code on top of this should take you down to the $4.60-ish territory. Battery weighs about 50, 55 pounds. I like to put it on a furniture dolly just to save my back, but now we're getting into multi-day power still in a pretty lightweight package. Again, compare this against like an EcoFlow Delta II or Pecron or something like that uh, that's in the 4000 watt hour capacities and put that against what you're paying for this. Building a po portable power system with an inverter and a charger is not that hard and this is going to give you a lot of power for not a lot of money. And then last, another one of my recommendations, the battery I don't own is the 12 volt 628 amp hour behemoth. It's in a big metal case and it's basically two of these bolted together. They are heavy. You'll see my 24 volt version here in just a second. 120, 130 something pounds. You're definitely going to want this thing on a cart. They're in a really nice metal case, low temperature charging protection, Bluetooth, 300 amp BMS. And so now we're getting to the 3,000, 3,500 watt territory on an inverter. If you're looking for a cabin, tiny house, big battery backup, now we're in these eight kilowatt hour capacities, which is ridiculous. Um, I am using the 24 volt version for my personal home backup system, which gets me into my next step, which is 24 volt batteries. 
If you have been around my channel or if you're new, I am a big, big, big fan of 24 volt batteries and we'll talk about that in just a second. So if you wanna cut your teeth on 24 volts, I've got a 24 volt 100 amp hour battery here. No Bluetooth, it's just a dumb battery. It's two 100 smooshed together. Uh, we got a 100 amp BMS, but since we're running 24 volts, we can still get 2,500 watts out of this. Runs $399, which is a great price for something just straightforward, but still with big power. I am using this for my new 24 volt DC portable air conditioner, which I featured on another video. I'll link to that and link it down below. So I can just charge it up, clip my air conditioner onto this and get five or six hours kind of minimum, uh, no solar, depending on how, I, how hard I push it. So if I got a power outage, I've got a fairly portable backup air conditioner and it is a fraction of the price of the EcoFlow Wave 3 portable AC with their battery pack that's about the same amount of runtime. So here's a really simple way to get into 24 volt systems. And lastly is the other behemoth, which is the 24 volt, 314 amp hour monster battery in the metal case. It's the same thing as the 12 volt, 628 amp hour, just wired as 24 volts. So 300 amp BMS on that. So you can pull five, 6,000 watts out of it. As I mentioned, it is the heart of my personal home backup system. I've got it on a cart with a big inverter on top of it. It'll run my refrigerator for a week with no solar, run my electric blanket for a month with no solar. Um, definitely want to put that sucker on wheels. It took both me and prepper wife Stephanie together to pick that sucker up. I'm not a real big guy. And the 24 volt, 314 amp monster is running 1099, same as the 12 volt, 628. Both have got Bluetooth, both have metal cases, both have low temperature charge protection, both are in the same price at 1100 bucks. And speaking of solar, WattCycle's got their 30 amp MPPT solar charge controller on sale for 120 bucks. Their charge controller will do both 12 and 24 volts. This is why I like 24 so much because on 12 volts, the system can handle up to 450 watts of solar input under 100 volts. On 24 volts, it can handle up to 900 watts of solar input under 100 volts. So just by shifting to a 24 volt system, you can get more solar power into the system and also the wires that you use to connect the battery to the inverter can be smaller because all the currents are cut in half. I've got an extensive video on the pros of 24 volt versus 12 volts. So that's it for today. So if you're looking to get into solar or battery stuff, or you're looking to upgrade, check out the various links below, see which one of the watt cycle products will work out for you. They've got a huge variety of stuff and you have to play around with the various codes because they affect different discounts between six, eight and 10% and it may change throughout the week. Thanks everybody. We'll catch you on the next one.